General Secretary the guy in the Teachers Union, Coretta MacDonald, has been examining the reaction of the government to sugar workers as opposed to teachers. In a podcast, she said that the union has been reaching out to the government since 2020. The Teachers Union, the only registered and legal body to represent teachers, submitted a proposal to the PPP's government in 2020 resubmitted in December of 2020, resubmitted in 2021, in 2022, and in the earlier part of 2023. To date, this wicked government, they have not called us to sit seriously to talk about that proposal. The expectation that the government would have submitted a counter-proposal. McDonald said that when the union met with Education Minister Priya Manikshan in 2020, the proposals were discussed. She said that in 2023, the union met with Gail Teixeira, Sonia Parag, and Priya Manikshan. Again, the discussions were about the proposals. So this is saying clearly that they have no interest in teachers' welfare. And I want to point out that I'm happy that our teachers on the Essequibo Coast, that they came out there in their numbers, while Priya Manik Chand and Joseph Hamilton and Barrett Jagdio and the whole circus of clowns were trying to make this issue a political one. The teachers on the Essequibo refuted that contention. Despite the threats, they continued to come out. The government's reaction has been to stop remitting teachers' deductions to the union. It has terminated the agency shop agreement. We have MMG at our disposal, and we will use the MMG service to ensure that our dues are remitted to the office. We will use online banking to ensure that our dues are sent across to the office. We will formulate amongst clusters of school and identify a point person in the form of a teacher who will come there, collect our $700, issue us with a temporary receipt, and that teacher will take it to the GTU, get the receipt from the official receipt from the GTU, and so we will continue to be members.